சென்னை பல்கலைக்கழகத்தினுடைய பெருமைமிகு வரலாற்று துறையின் சார்பிலே பேராசிரியர் கருணானந்தம் அவர்கள் அவருடைய பணி ஓய்வு பெற்ற பிற்பாடும் அவர்கள் விவேகானந்தா கல்லூரியிலே பல ஆண்டுகளாக வரலாற்று துறையிலே பேராசிரியர்களாக இருந்து பேராசிரியராக மட்டுமில்லாமல் ஒரு போராளியாகவும் உரிமைக்காக தொடர்ந்து இருந்து ஓய்வு பெற்ற விரிவுகாடு ஒரு சுதந்திர பறவையாகவே அவர் கருதி வீட்டில் முடங்கிடாமல் தன்னுடைய கருத்துக்கள் இந்த பல்கலைக்கழகத்திலே இருக்கிற மாணவர்களுக்கெல்லாம் தலைமுறை தலைமுறையாக அது பயன்பட வேண்டும் என்ற எண்ணத்தோடு தான் மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு செல்வந்தர் இல்லை என்று சொன்னாலும் கூட தன்னுடைய சேமிப்பிலே ஒரு பகுதியை ஒதுக்கி அதை பொதுநலத்துக்கு பயன்பட வேண்டும் மாணவ சமுதாயமும் ஆசிரிய பெருமக்களும் ஒரேயே வெளியிலே தெரிந்து கொள்ள முடியாத ப பாடத்திலே தெரிந்து கொள்ள முடியாத செய்திகளை இந்த பல்கலைக்கழகத்தினுடைய ஆய்வு சொற்பொழிகள் மூலம் ஒரு தெரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்ற நோக்கத்தோடு ஒரு அறக்கட்டளையை அவர்கள் இங்கே உருவாக்கினார்கள் எஸ் கிரியேட்டட் அண்ட் என்டோமென் அதனுடைய ஒரு பெரிய வாய்ப்பிலே தான் இந்த சொற்பொழிவுகள் தொடர்ந்து நடைபெறுகின்றன அந்த வகையிலே இந்த சிறப்பான சொற்பொழிவை நடத்துவதற்கு இன்றைக்கு தகுதி மிக்க ஒரு பேராசிரியர் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அனுரின் தேஷ்பாண்டே அவர் மோஸ்ட் ரெஸ்பெக்ட்ஃபுல் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி ஆஃப் சோஷியல் சயின்சஸ் டெல்லி யூனிவர்சிட்டி இஸ் கைண்ட் அண்ட் ஆஃப் டு அக்செப்ட் அவர் இன்விடேஷன் அண்ட் கம் அண்ட் கிவ் அ தாட் ப்ரொவோக்கிங் ஸ்பீச் A research speech which will be very commendable, which will be recorded. And later on, sir, we will be having the privilege of not only hearing your speech, but also recording the speech. This goes to the whole world through the relay. And we have record, we will have to record it. And if possible, certainly your address, your endowment address, research address, will be brought in as a book special book on periyar's how this is a review of why periyar periyar's scintillating work very pioneering work about women why were women enslaved in this country in our country this is a very thought provoking original thinker from a original thinker a great social revolutionary tandai periyar we were not born when he has returned that he was such a great pioneer apadipatta oru oru de uraiye inga aatruvarku delhi palgalai kalagathile irundhu chennai palgalai kalagathirkku vandu irukka koodi avarku we all heartedly welcome to the land of tamil nadu the land of periyar the land of social justice land of great awakening social awakening tan alithathu payanpadugiradha endru ovvor aandum gavanathodu alikindravargal vegu silare irpargal endowments will be created but the creator of the endowment will not listen whether it is going on every year whether it is being usefully done with the purposeful whether the purpose is completely served this is a very rare phenomenon but professor karnanandam is very particular that this is used in a very rightful way selecting people who are worthy of delivering those endowment lecture so on this behalf on our behalf we thank him profusely we welcome him that is more important we wish him a long and healthy life in the nigalvukku varugai thandirukka koodiya permai kuriya avudaiya menal neethi arasar அன்பிற்குரிய ஐயா ஜஸ்டிஸ் அக்பர் அலி அவர்களே இந்த பல்கலைக்கழகத்திற்கு அவர்கள் ஒரு வகையில் ஒரு அதிகார தொடர்புள்ளவர்கள் ஆனால் இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு சிறப்பு நிகழ்ச்சிகள்லாம் வருகிற போது தவறாமல் வந்து அவர்களுக்கு வேறு பணி பதினொன்றரை மணிக்கு இருக்கிறது இருந்தாலும் இங்கே வர வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக வந்திருக்கிறார்கள் இது ஒரு அற்புதமான ஒரு நிகழ்ச்சி இதுவரும் மாணவர்கள் மட்டுமல்ல பேராசிரியர் மட்டுமல்ல நீதி அரசர்களே இங்கே வந்து பெரியார் என்ன அவருடைய உரையை பற்றி கேட்க வேண்டும் அவரை பற்றி பேசுகிறார்கள் என்று சொல்கிற நேரத்திலே சொன்னார்கள் 
கவிஞர் கண்ணதாசன் அவர்கள் ஒரு வரியிலே அழகாக எழுதினார் பெரியாருக்கு என்ன தகுதி என்று சொல்கிற நேரத்தில் நீதிமன்ற நீதிக்கும் நீதி சொல்வார் அவர் நெறிகட்டு வளர்ந்ததெல்லாம் நிமிர்த்தி வைப்பார் என்று இரண்டு வரிகளிலே சொன்னார் ஆகவே நீதிமன்ற நீதிக்கும் நீதி சொன்னார் என்பதற்காகத்தான் நீதிபதி அவர்களே அவருடைய கருத்துக்களை தேஷ்பாண்டே போன்றவர்கள் சொல்லுகிற நேரத்தில் கேட்க வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக இங்கு சிறப்பாக வந்திருக்கிறார்கள் அவ்வளவு பெருமைக்குரிய நீதியரசர் அவர்களே மற்றும் மாணவ செல்வங்களே பேராசிரிய பெருமக்களே உங்கள் எல்லோருக்கும் அன்பான வணக்கம் இட் இஸ் மை ப்ரவுட் ப்ரிவிலேஜ் அண்ட் ஆனர் அண்ட் ப்ளஷர் டு பி பிஃபோர் யூ அபவுட் இன்ட்ரடியூசிங் தி பெரியார்ஸ் தாட்ஸ் ஆன் விமன் and especially half of the world population we all know is without any gender bias this is a factum that female population women population is half of it 50% but how far they are given the rights how far they are enjoying the rights but one great difference between the other parts of the globe and our country is very very noteworthy very obvious not only obvious it is injurious to the society's health one may agree with me not but it is a fact it is a bitter fact bitter truth because in our country we are religiously divided at the globe throughout the there but in our religion the majority religion how far they recognize the women folk whether they are human beings they recognize this is a question basically the basic thing is why women enslaved this is a question long time posed by periyar and answered by him it was that was a shock in that time because nobody has dared enough to expose these kind of social injuries that have been caused to the women folk half of the population were denied their rights but basically even though the women were discriminated even in the west but there is a special class of discrimination in our country because of the religion they are born we are not choosing it but they were born because my parents belong to this religion this caste and all these things it has been dumped on us what is the difference why periyar was motivated to write about this one in even in our country even in our times the modern times even in 21st century there is the practice our women folk instead of fighting for their rights as human rights because they are considered we are all considered human beings but whether they are really considered as human beings and given the same rights this is a question this is a mute question this is a million dollar question because we all know even today they are struggling the women folk when child is struggling to be born from the womb because they don't want pala nerangalile ungalku theriyum tamil nadu la innamu sila edangal la pala prachanigal irukkanana naan oru murai london bbc ki peti kodutten ஆனந்தி என்ற ஒரு அம்மையார் அவர் ஈழத்திலே பிறந்தவர் ஆனால் லண்டனில் அங்கே இருக்கக்கூடியவர் ஷி போஸ்ட் எ கொஸ்டின் திராவிட கழகம் உங்களுடைய இயக்கம் சமூக சீர்திருத்த இயக்கம் சோஷியல் மூமெண்ட் நல்ல காரியங்கள் பெரியாருடைய தலைமையில் எல்லாம் செய்ய பெரியார் பெண்ணியார் அடிமையாரால் எல்லாம் கேட்குறீங்க ஆனால் ஒன் ஒரு கேள்விக்கு நீங்கள் பதில் சொல்லணும் என்ன என்று சொன்னால் இன்னமும் உங்கள் பகுதியிலே தமிழ்நாட்டிலே கூட இவ்வளோ வளர்ந்துருக்கிற இயக்கத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய தமிழ்நாட்டிலே கூட பல இடங்களிலே உசிலம்பட்டி போன்ற இடங்களிலே அந்த பகுதிகளிலே தருமபுரியினுடைய சில மாவட்டங்களிலே சேலம் பகுதிகளிலே 
குழந்தைகள் பிறப்பதற்கு முன்னாலேயே அவர்களுக்கு அந்த பெண் குழந்தையாக இருந்தால் பிறக்கக்கூடாது இமன் சில்ட்ரன் ஷுட் பி டிஸ்கரேஜ் தே மஸ்ட் பி ஸ்டாப்ட் தே மஸ்ட் பி அபார்ட்டட் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவிற்கு இருக்கிறத இந்த குழந்தைகளை கொல்லக்கூடிய அளவுக்கு இன்ஃபென்ட்ர சைடுன்னு சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவுக்கு வெளியே வந்து குழந்தைகளை கொல்வதற்கு பதிலாக உள்ளேயே கர்ப்பத்திலேயே குழந்தைகளை கொல்லக்கூடிய அளவிற்கு இங்கே இருக்கிற கொடுமை இருக்கிறத கள்ளிப்பால் தாய்ப்பாலுக்கு பதிலாக கள்ளிப்பால் கொடுக்கக்கூடிய கொடுமை இருக்கிறத இதற்கு நீங்கள் என்ன செய்தீர்கள் என்று கேட்டார் நியாயமான கேள்வி உலகத்திலேயே பிறப்பதற்கு முன்னாலேயே போராட்டத்தோடு பிறந்து வரக்கூடிய ஒரு இனமாக நம்முடைய நாட்டில் பெண்கள் இருப்பது மிக மிக வேதனையான ஒன்று பெரியார் அதை பற்றி சிந்தித்தார் காரணம் என்ன ஹிவஸ் அ கிரேட் ஹியூமனிஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இஸ் ஹியூமனிசம் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இஸ் செல்ஃப் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் ஃபீலிங் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இஸ் ரேஷனலிசம் ஹி வாண்ட் டு ஹாவ் அ ஹியூமன் அப்ரோச் டு எவ்ரி ப்ராப்ளம் ஹி வாஸ் அன் ஒரிஜினல் திங்கர் அப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு சூழ்நிலையில் மிக தெளிவாக அவர்களுடைய சிந்தனை ஆணும் பெண்ணும் எதற்காக டிஸ்கிரிமினேட் பண்ண வேண்டும் ஒய் தி விமன் அண்ட் மென் வேர் டிஸ்கிரிமினேட்டட் அண்ட் மோரல்லெஸ் ஈவன் அமங் மென் தெர் இஸ் டிஸ்கிரிமினேஷன் தட் இஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மேட்ரு பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தி காஸ்ட் சிஸ்டம் பட் வென் ஈ ஸ்டார்ட் அட் தி செல்ஃப் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் மூமெண்ட் தந்தை பெரியார் தி கிரேட் ஒரிஜினல் திங்கர் அண்ட் சோஷியல் ரெவல்யூஷனரி he was telling no if you consider the women are they really human beings no they have been dehumanized because what they have got pet child pet children no on the other hand pet animals the pet animals are enjoying more rights than the pet children if they born as women this is a very bitter truth whether you accept it not today you might have some kind of freedom but tomorrow what will happen because of sanadana dharma because of the various manu dharma because they have been dehumanized according to manu dharma nobody could deny because still people wants to be manu dharma to be replaced in the position of indian constitution written by dr ambedkar and baba saheb and committee they are very eagerly awaiting to replace it manu dharma all women are considered to be namo sutra what is called namo sutra means equivalent to sutra and they don't have any right to read write and arithmetic all human rights are being denied it this is the position that is why they have been completely given a treatment a discriminatory treatment that is why tandai periyar was very particular and very thought provokingly he asked the question pen yen adimayanal why were women enslaved you see in those time some 90 years back he has dealt with all the problems now it has gone in various languages which our main speaker is going to elaborate all these things under this chapter first chastity another is valluvar and chastity third is love the right to divorce remarriage is not wrong prostitution the plight of widows property rights birth control masculinity must be destroyed by women's liberation all these things so periyar's thinking is very original and one thing which is very unique about periyar is periyar's original thinking was shaped not by any research not by entering into any libraries not by going even like buddha under yeah the tree and all these things but he was an original thinker who every experiences in his life he had learned and he formed a moment that necessitated to start the self respect moment the first aim is there should be equality among all human beings 
not only equality women must be not only be equal to men there is no there should be no gender bias this is the problem but more than equality next step is after getting equality that is only a stepping stone they must get empowered this is the idea of periyar empowered because of education was denied to them property rights were denied to them even they are not the owners of their bodies and mind this is a very pitiable pathetic situation we will have to accept so because of this movement because of the social movement because of this kind of revolutionary movement even maharashtra like jodi ba phule and savitri bai phule was the one of the earlier thing to start a school for women all these things were there but in our country partly you will have to know when children were born in northern india particularly the banaras and other areas completely the women child baby was thrown into the ganges the then british government brought a separate act to prohibit it it is being in black and white recently also other has completely given a long list in west bengal people completely women child was destroyed and infanticide was killed and thrown into the fields professor satyanath ayer everybody knows professor satyanath ayer was my professor when i was studying in annamalai university and he has written a very authoritative book on indian history there he mentions in the 19th century even in calcutta and west bengal and other areas when women children was there and they were completely they were completely killed them by throwing into the fields into the ganges into other parts of all these things they don't have the right to live this is important so they don't have right to be born right to born right to live they don't have because they are not equal unto men this is the position nanbargale ungalku pillaigalukku solanum romba vedikka innaikku kuda oru satam irukirathu they have brought it for scan vandu paakranga purame when they have become the pregnant as the pregnancy and all these things they go and see the scan munnala vandu josiyatta dhaan povanga aan kolanda parakkada pen kolanda parakkada and only astrologer <laughs> they will tell very conveniently to the mother they will say your children child will be a male to the mother and the father they, they will tell no to the father they will tell you the boy then they will mother you will have a girl because they will tolerate both thing but they won't tell the same thing to other people so by that the astrology will be will thriving is business that's all our joseta solvanga maati maati miga mukhyama but that is not the case ipo science say they go but the one paakradhukku ungalukku theriyum go on scan panni adukku vandu pura ame irukku now they have brought a separate act or satta vandirukku edukkaga indha nadakka kudiyirukku veliya solla koodadhu veliyittal adarukku miga mukhyamaana alavarku varano அப்புறம் அபார்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ஒரு இன்ஃபண்ட்ட சைடு இருக்கு அத்தனையும் வந்திருக்குன்னு சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவில் வந்திருக்கிறதுன்னு சொன்னால் பெண்களுக்கு இருக்கிற கொடுமைகளுக்கு அதுதான் ஆதாரம் ஆதாரபூர்வமாக மிக முக்கியமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய வாய்ப்புகள் எனவே பிறப்பதற்கே போராடி பிறக்கிற ஒரு சமூகமாக இருக்கிறது பெண்கள் சமூகம் அதுதான் மிக முக்கியம் பிறக்கிறதுக்கு போராடணும் அதுக்கு விட நமக்கு பிறந்த உடனே எப்படி வைத்திருக்கிறாருன்னா நம்ம நாட்டிலே எல்லாம் பெண்களையே ஆண்கள் சொல்கிறது கூட இல்லை பெண்களையே பாட்டி வீட்டில் இருக்கிற பாட்டியாக இருக்கட்டும் அம்மையாக இருக்கட்டும் மொத்தமாக இருக்கட்டும் என்ன குழந்த என்ன குழந்தைன்னு கேட்பாங்க ஒன்று பெண் குழந்தைன்னு சொல்லிட்டா போதும் மிக முக்கியமாக உதட்டப்பதுக்கு பொட்டை பிள்ளையா அவ்வளோதான் தவிர அப்படின்னா 
சரி அதே அம்மா நான் வேடிக்கையாக சொல்கிற கூட்டங்களில் ஒரு அஞ்சு முட்டையை கொடுத்து கோழி குஞ்சை பொறிக்க சொன்னால் அதை குஞ்சு பொறிச்சு தான்னு கேட்டு பாருங்கள் கோழி குஞ்சை அப்போ உடனே என்ன சொல்லுவாள் ரொம்ப மகிழ்ச்சியாக அதே அம்மா வீட்டில் அந்த அஞ்சு முட்டையை கொடுத்து இந்த பொட்டை பிள்ளையான்னு கேட்டாங்க பாருங்கள் அவங்கள எல்லாம் கோழி குஞ்சு பெட்டை குஞ்சு ரொம்ப மகிழ்ச்சியாக எங்க கோழி குஞ்சு பிறந்தால் பெட்டை குஞ்சு அதே மாதிரி மாடு கண்ணு போட்டால் பசு மாடு பசங்கண்ணு குட்டி ரொம்ப மகிழ்ச்சி ஆனால் மனுஷன் பிள்ளை பெற்றா பெண் குழந்தைன்னா அது உதட்ட புதுக்கிறதுங்கிற சமுதாயம் வந்துச்சுன்னா இந்த சமுதாயத்தை மாற்றுவதற்கு எத்தனை பெரியார்கள் தேவை என்பதை நீங்கள் எல்லோரும் நினைத்து பார்க்க வேண்டும் அதுதான் மிக முக்கியமானது ஆகவே வி பான் வி வில் ஹாவ் டு ஃபைட் அதனால தான் என்ஸ்லேவுடு என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவிற்கு வந்தார்கள் பெரியார்ஸ் அப்ரோச் இஸ் வெரி டிஃபரெண்ட் வெரி போல்ட் வெரி சயின்டிஃபிக் அந்த அப்ரோச் பிகாஸ் காஸ் அண்ட் எஃபெக்ட் ஹீ கொஸ்டன் எவ்ரி திங் இட் டசன் மேட்டர் வெதர் இட் இஸ் சேக்ரட் லாஸ் ஆர் சேக்ரட் செரிமனிஸ் ஆர் வெதர் இட் இஸ் காட் நோ பிகாஸ் ஈவன் பகவத்கீதா தே டெலிகிரேட் விமன் விமன் ஆர் பார்ன் விமன் அண்ட் சூத்ராஸ் ஆர் பார்ன் ஃப்ரம் பாபா யோனி திஸ் வாஸ் எ ஸ்லோகன் நோ படி குட் டினை இட் so periyar was very straight forward in saying if you want to cure the disease you will have to kill the gms that is more important the immunity must be developed so that is why this is a great document this book is a great document just like a magna carta and periyar thinking about women is very different in our university periyar maniyamma university we have convened an international conference what about periyar's thinking periyar's thoughts what kind of feminism periyar has done it and how to classify his ideas under particular feminism this was the important thing and you know when you talk about all our learned friends kindly listen in see this women liberators were classified as belonging to different feminist schools of thought as liberal feminism radical feminism socialist feminism anarchist feminism cultural feminism domestic feminism black feminism eco feminism and spiritual feminism there are nine classification internationally done about feminism but the internationally assembled people from various uh, universities we have invited in periyar manima university for which i am the chancellor so we have convened a special international a symposium and we were discussing about the how to bring anything under this caption but periyar's feminism is very singular very distinguishable so among these nine category it never fits in because it's very unique because from the birth to the death he was thinking up to the all stages he was very original we all know about the family planning even he was the pioneer in india periyar was the pioneer in india about the birth control even when the other people were in Uh, talking about it periyar approach is very different and you know why the population must be controlled because they used to cite only the malthusian theory no though if children are more and the food supply is less how could be divided and all these things that was the reason so the planning could not be there we will have to control the birth only by birth control we could control the population that was the reason main reason they used to economic reasons but periyar's approach and periyar's thinking about the family planning is very unique and very individualistic and singular periyar said look here why should you give birth to all these things you must stop it and you could have a birth control quick people were now were completely totally against this 
on the religious basis on the belief of god i will narrate a very incident when i was in america there was a jewish a lady who is very jocularly used to talk about and he was uh, yeah, completely 60 years old he used to ask many questions about our india through to me he was asked miss veeramani you are heading a social movement in tamil nadu in india i know that but you are doing so many things i have gone through the books about periyar and about you and all these things that is all right but one question i would like to pose to you is your population is grass population every time you are growing and you will be outgrowing even china in the few years this is the problem how could you plan it how could you give everything to everybody to all the pop- the population swells like anything are you not doing anything because you are a social worker you want to control all these things is it not your duty this question was straightly put on to me i said look here madam we are doing it ours our leader was the pioneer in family planning and all these things but one thing what is then what is the problem why still it is going on she was asking me once again grilling me i said look here the main problem stumbling block why this is that they see it is god given it is god given so god is giving all children how to we stop it it is god given that is the answer that is why we will have to do this against the god against religion because the religion is a stumbling block god is the under reason that then immediately she so see even we believe in our god this was the answer by her that is very scintillating and thought provoking for us see even we go to church we have got our own god but our god never multiplies this population but tell your god don't let him overwork overtime work let him not do the overtime work we we'll stop him try to stop him this was the jocular answer but truth is behind it but periyar's approach to the birth control is very different and periyar's approach is why the social side the begetting children is a great burden on the mother when the husband happens to be a drunkard when he happens to be a gambler when he happens to be not competent and there are, there is no consistency in their life there is no happiness they cannot come out because they say no no what happened i don't have any property rights i don't have education but still he is my god and uh, whatever the, my husband says i will let go daily he used to beat me but i tolerate it because i cannot go out of it why the children i will have to take uh, the children two or three children i cannot take an independent thing periyar has pointed out this so this is a social evil so my point of view is not very economic point that is secondary the basically primary reason for the family planning is that women should be independence is being marred their independence is being taken away they are being slaved not by by any agency but by their own children because of the children i cannot leave the family i will have to tolerate it i will have to suffer and suffer and suffer this is the problem so like that everywhere for the widow marriage widow remarriage so only for ladies chastity is only for women very aras what about men even in our act i suppose our judge is there suppression of immoral traffic act that is an act only women are being sentenced and convicted and sentenced not men but for these men this crime would not have done because the initiator the abettor is women men but they go scot free this is the gross injustices these are all pointed out by periyar and all these things say if chastity is very important 
Let him be a common thing to all, for women as well as men. Karpu and the Sonal are the Pendel Kumatuma, Periyar Kater, Padi Varadi, Padi Varadi, Periya Varte Suli, Pen Padi Varadin, Periya Rumba, Yelimea, Makal Madila Kerkumo Sonar Padi Varadan or Varta Kan Kater. Our Karpu Karasi, Kane Karpu Karasi, Karpu Karasi in the Varta Sultan and Tavara, Periyar Kater. Karpu Karasan, Yara Vilkan, Anketar, Yar in La, Nala Karpu Karasan, Varte, Abdullah Kudi, Alavurki. Up to the Pendra Bundu, Vitia Sapatu, discriminating between men and women, whether it is chastity, all in discrimination. That is why he wants to do justice to all, fairness all, so no gender bias, that kind of everything to everybody is the social justice. So always when he was fighting for social justice, first priority is social justice with gender justice. Gender justice must be prevailing there. Without gender justice, the, even the social justice is not welcome according to Periyar. That is most important. So the opportunity, equality of opportunity must be there. So Periyar was unique in her thinking. And that is why you will be surprised to know when there is a concept of widow remarriage, he never preached, but he practiced earlier, then he preached later. 130 years ago, in his own family, when his sister-in-law, a young child, because even children, see, the children are being married now, and there is an age of consent, even for the age of consent bill and act, they will have to fight a lot. They were dasi. They been, uh, women were dedicated to gods. Is there any other god which is having a devadasi in other country? Only your own country. They are not supposed to marry. Their life is very, very worse. They cannot write it. Only because of this movement, there is no system of devadasi system. And people are being put to kati. They are given to gods, they were married their gods and all these things, even as a child. These you must know, go through all these things, because it, today it is not there. So you might not, you may be not, be not available and thinking what is happening there. So, this is the old Sanadana Dharma. And this happened. That is why the children, women children were not liked. And in Manadharma, there is one thing, no, no women should have any independence at any part of the age. When she is a child, she must be under the control of the parent. When she grows there and gets married, then she must be under the control of her husband. After begetting a son, then he she must be under the control and command of his son. This is Manidharma. That is quite against Manida Dharma, that's all. It is quite against equality. Quest against injurious to social injury. This is a great social indiscrimination. This is what Periyar, that is why he has not only returned, but also practiced. And in his own life, he saw the victories of his principles, that is the greatness of Periyar. That is why we carry the banner, we carry the torch that he has handed over. That is what we are doing. So, my dear young friends, kindly think, Periyar is basically never detested anybody, never discriminated anything. Periyar wants all human beings to have equal rights, equal opportunities, equality and empowerment. It should not be a monopoly. It should be socialized. This is the problem. And particularly, women should give more priority because now, even after our education, they have got double work, double problem. They are empowered, one sense. They become lecturer, they become professor, they become vice chancellor. When they return to their house, they become one again their chuff. 
they have been they will have to go to their kitchen and nobody will even men they won't touch anything you brought rasam you brought kolambu you brought whether you have done it so she will have to burden double burden this is the problem once again this is not a right kind of empowerment empowerment is equal opportunity and equal partners when i had been to canada for citing a, a memorandum for our institution we were dying some women members used to uh, we we were staying in a house uh, it was uh, the house landlady was there and uh, we used to read and write and all these things all our women uh, lecturers they will prepare food for us and they will serve us and uh, that landlady was uh, observing this one see us see i am seeing all your three professors your chancellor your chairman they were sitting they were writing something they never come to the kitchen they never help you and all these things but is no that is the way of life in our country what is this kind of, but we don't allow this one my husband will come and help me and all these things why you are doing that you will have to reform all those things ask them to learn prepare some food also and serve you to the when you are coming and you are working and all these things the same persons when our people they go to foreign countries they go to america they go to other people they are well trained there they used to go to the kitchen they used to prepare food and all these things but the same person when we land in our country from the minambakam airport to the house the whole things once again comes there so all this thing it is a mental shackle because mentally it is a prison even at times you know husband and wife will go and uh, the husband will be carrying the children when they are walking and somebody some friends were there immediately he will hand over no 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 pudi pudi i say sorry why 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 this kind of thing all kinds of because of this gender bias because she is supposed to be a good servant not only servant servant without any pay no servant could be immediately dismissed they could be ordinary servant could be asked to go away but once you get married you are a permanent servant without any pay because marriage is a very sacrament this is sacrament purida kattu what is that purida kattu this is a permanent slave that means that is why periyar is needed periyas ask the question find the answers in your life not on papers but your practical life thank you very much for hearing me